One of the challenges of creating web pages is dealing with the code behind the web page itself. Although it's still important to understand the code that makes up a web page, WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get editors such as Dreamweaver CS6, help you to focus more on the visual aspects of the web page while the editor writes the code for you. Let's take a look at how Dreamweaver does this. I'm beginning this video with the WYSIWYG.html file already open on my computer. And in Dreamweaver, we have three different views that we can use to edit our web pages. We have code, split, and design view. And I'm starting out here in design view because this is the WYSIWYG portion, or the what you see is what you get portion of using Dreamweaver. Now, you can see this file is showing me a approximation of what this web page is going to look like. One thing I want to point out, though, is that although Dreamweaver does a really good job of representing the web page in design view, it's not a 100% view of what you're going to see in every single web browser. Now, in design view, this is the visual portion of creating a web page in Dreamweaver. And one thing I want to show you is, you'll notice up here we have a title field. And every web page you create should have a title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of here, and I'm going to type the name of this restaurant, which is Jummy. And then I'll just put a hyphen and type the Tasty Restaurant. There we go. Now, once I switch over to code view, I want to point out that if I scroll up here to the top, we're going to see that we now have a title tag, and the text that we typed in there is automatically entered into the code. Because it's important to understand that the code is really the important part of this. If we don't write correct code, the web page is not going to render properly. Now, if I go back to design view, you'll notice down here we have some text that obviously is not formatted the way we want it to appear. We have some CSS styles that are already set up for us for this web page. And one of the things that Dreamweaver is really good about is allowing us to format our content based on those CSS properties. So, for example, I'm going to highlight this text right here that says hands on cooking. If we go to code view, Dreamweaver makes it really easy for us to navigate between these different views because if I highlight it in design view, it automatically highlights it in code view. And we can see that this particular text is simply formatted with a P tag or a paragraph tag. Now let's go ahead and switch back to design view because with this text selected, I'm going to come down here to my format drop down menu and I'm going to apply an heading 2 tag to that text. You'll notice that visually it immediately changes to reflect our change. You'll notice that if I switch over to code view, the H2 tag has been applied to it. And you can also use the split view, which is a great compromise between the two. Because I can now go through my design view, as I highlight it in design view, we can see it in the code. So when we apply an H2 tag or a heading 2 tag to this, we can see it visually change in design view, but also we can see the code change happen in the code view. Now I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the full design view for a second. Let's go ahead and apply the heading 2 tag to a couple of these. And we'll see that the formatting has now been applied. Now, Conversely, even though the design view is very helpful, there are times when it's helpful to be able to quickly jump over to code view so that we can then move forward in design view. And here's what I mean. If I switch over to code view, we're going to scroll up a little bit. And you'll see that we have a div class here called events top. And if I switch over to design view, it's really hard to see what's being highlighted here. And that's because divs can be a little bit tricky when you're working with them inside of Dreamweaver. But that's what makes the WYSIWYG web editor really easy to use because in code view, we can see the div or the division of this web page. I'm going to put my cursor here. And that's really important to know because that allows Dreamweaver to know where our point of reference is. Now I'm going to leave my cursor there. I'm going to switch to design view. And even though there's no visual indicator in design view, Dreamweaver knows where my cursor is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my insert panel. And we're going to insert an image. So I'm going to scroll down to the images option. And I'm going to click on that to insert an image inside of my web page. 
Within my website, I'm going to scroll down to the images folder and I'm going to choose the header.jpg file. When I click the open button, it'll ask me to include some alternate text. So I'm just going to put some basic text in here. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that Dreamweaver automatically inserts it at the proper location. Now, when you're viewing your content in Design View, as I said before, this is not a 100% true representation of what your web page will look like. Because of the different web browsers, it's hard to represent that. However, Dreamweaver CS6 includes what's called a live view. And if you click on this button up here at the top, it will render your web page using the WebKit rendering engine. So as I scroll down, I can actually see a very good representation of what this website will look like when rendered using WebKit based browsers. Now, in addition, you can go to the inspect mode. And this is really useful because as you hover over these different items, it's going to highlight the basic component that makes up the web page. This can be used in conjunction in code view or in split view because in split view, as I turn on the live option, as I click on these different items, it's going to highlight it inside of my code window on the left hand side. So I'll switch back to design view. And you always want to remember to turn off the live view because you can't make any edits in this view. So I'll go ahead and turn this off. And now we're back to our basic web page. So you can see how WYSIWYG editors such as Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 take care of the heavy lifting of building a web page by writing the HTML code for you as you're building the page visually. Using Dreamweaver will significantly reduce the amount of time that it takes to build and create your own website.